you're not going to do that. No. No. I'm the writer. Damn it. <laughs> and they just go ahead and do it. And I'm going, I'm losing an argument with myself. <laughs> Should I be worried? No. No. I guess as long as I know I'm losing the argument. No, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> but yes, the answer, truthfully, is I don't know. It just, this is how it works for me. So, Thank you. you're welcome. All right, you're all looking at other questions. Okay, I have another question. Uh, Kelly, see, see, you're just gonna make Kelly have to ask questions all night. There you go. Hi, gorgeous. Uh, Hi, handsome. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank How you for being <laughs> We're doing well. How about yourself? Wonderful. I'm Jesse. Um, Hi, Jesse. I'm writing now, and I love it. But I ended up realizing that I'm writing three series <laughs> simultaneously. How do you keep that from overlapping? Because the stories are just right behind each other, and it's like, what am I doing? Have you finished a book? I finished two. Then, yay, first of all, <laughs> yay. Um, if you finished a book, then you need to send it out and try to get it published. Uh, yeah, yeah. What'd you think I was gonna say? <laughs> and, and because you have two books done, you can send, you can send them out and you're on to the next one. You're on your third novel. So you can throw yourself into the next novel and not worry about where the book is in the mail. <laughs> and that is the best thing you can do. Do not have only one literary child at a time because you'll be like a person with an only child. You'll think it has a cold. You'll think it needs a sweater. You'll think that there's something wrong with it all the time. If you have another book and you're working on it, you can just, you can just oh, it got rejected. That's fine. We have another place to go. Um, as far as what is, what is the problem with having three series at once where the books come one after the other? Why is that a problem? Because like you, I end up talking to my characters. <laughs> Again, why is this a problem? Oh, I've, I've, I've gone a whole week being my main character and, uh, and everybody thought I was crazy. But after that week, I had literally finished her book and now her sister has a book. Again, <laughs> you haven't reached a problem yet for me. Um, I think this is wonderful. There are writers, I talk to new writers all the time. I talk to not so new writers all the time who do not have more ideas, who do not have characters that are talking or that real to them. And they hunger for it. They wish this was their problem. This is a blessing, not a curse. So, send your book, do your research, find out who's buying, send them out. Are they paranormals? Yeah. Then send them out! <laughs> this, is, this is the hottest genre in, public, pu, in, in publishing what, right now. Yeah, with extreme erotica. So. This <laughs> is the hottest <laughs> genre in publishing right now. Right now, while the window is open, you can get a lot of things published, and people do. <laughs> so, and the, here's the thing. Send them out now. Don't wait. Send them out. Send them out and keep writing. Just because you said so. I've been afraid this whole time, but all right. Because I said so. Fine, because said I said so. <laughs> I want you to send the book out. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Let us know when you sell. Hello. Hello. I'm Louie. Hi, Louie. I'm a, I'm a fairly new fan. Uh, I, this has been kind of a whirlwind. I'm on like book six now, so this is like me jumping ahead, but I found you on Twitter and I saw that you were going to be in Chicago and I was like, why not, you know? <laughs> Welcome. Um, I, uh, I am the son of a published author and I've been preaching to her for like a good while now, especially since I started reading your books about doing a series because I, she's got like four books out now, but none of them tie together. You know, they're all in like one's a nonfiction, uh, one's a thriller, you know, and I've been telling her, you know, uh, you get the continuity and you get a fan base really with like a series like this. And uh, I think, I think uh, my question is, how did you decide, and I don't, I don't know if you've written any other books with any different characters. I'm 
I'm sure you doesn't have. know. I'm, doesn't know. I'm sure you have, but how did you? <laughs> How did you make that leap from those other books to uh, deciding I'm going to really put a lot of work into this one series and this one character and just let it grow and grow with it? Well, first of all, I'm a series writer. I've never had a sing st single standalone idea in my entire life. So your mother may be a very different kind of writer. Really, there are two kinds of novelists. Novelists that think in separate chunks. They have an idea, it grows, they write it, they're done. And then people like me, who think of everything as being interconnected. Series do grow your audience base. It really, it really does. If it's successful, it really does. Um, and I would urge her if she wants an audience. But you have to ask her if what she wants is an audience or if she wants to tell her story. Because you can tell a story and even get published. And so for some writers, that's enough. It's not, it's not about being popular. Money's great, but um, it's more about telling the story. For me, I'm very lucky. I get to tell the story I want. It just takes books and books and books. Right. And so what I want to write is what's selling. But sometimes, as a writer, you have to write what your own voice is. And if every book is different, then maybe she hasn't found her voice yet. I, I guess that's the toughest part is, you know, be, I mean, you could probably, I'm sure you went through tough times in the beginning. You know, my mom's been doing this for probably, her first book came out in 93, and she, that's all she does is writes. You know, she's a, she's a syndicating columnist, you know, to pay the bills, but she uh, publishes a book outside of it. And I guess the most difficult part is, you know, not is, uh, is trying to hold back from, you know, like really being like forceful and like, you know, this is what's successful but still giving her that creative, like, you know, being supportive in what she's actually doing? Um, it's very personal, writing a book. It's very individual. Um, my first novel came out in 93 as well. And uh, Bullet is my 30th novel. Um, so, excuse me. Ah. <laughs> um, I am very prolific. I'm very, very fast. And it's, it's just the way I write. I write like you're jumping off a cliff. And you hope your words will catch you. That's how I write. Um, your mother's a syndicated columnist. That's a very different type of writing. It's very careful. I do my research ahead of time. But once I sit down to write, I'm gone. If you're a careful writer, you're slower. You're more meticulous. And um, it's harder, to, I, I, I seem to be with friends like that, it's harder to get into the groove. It's harder to stay there. It's just a different way of looking at things. If she could find something that spoke to her, um, she's, a, she's a syndicated columnist. For the love of God, other people have done it, not a syndicated columnist, but they've taken their job. Make her main character a syndicated columnist, give her 